All right, so today we're going to go over the Google Cloud Printing, um, which is uh, still in beta, but uh, it is out and available and working. We do have it set up at, uh, or our, we have some clients that are set up with it and running uh, successfully. Um, so a couple things uh, prior to getting going, uh, you're going to want to make sure that you download the Google Chrome browser because you'll need that to uh, run it and you'll also need an active Google account um, so like a Gmail account or just a, a Google account um, and you're gonna probably want to have it as a dedicated account um, just because it's gonna have to run uh, continuously to make this work so you're gonna probably have one if you're an admin you probably want to have it running on a PC that's gonna be up and online all the time or uh, what we have some of our clients doing is, is running it on their uh, print server. So yeah, make sure you have an active account and make sure you're going to have a PC that you can have on and running at all times. So you're always going to want to be logged into that account, that, that Gmail account or that Google account for this to work. So I have John, our tech here, and we're just going to run you through um, the setup and I'll let him take it from here. First things first, we're going to need to get to the Google settings. So we're going to go in there, go to settings. Uh, at the bottom here, you're going to see show advanced settings. We're going to click on that. And we're going to go down to where you see Google Cloud Print. Now we're going to manage all the printers that are on our network. This here, what you can do is you can show any notifications when a new printer is added. So if you got a printer that's added somewhere later after uh, we update these, it will show up and it will give you the ability to manage it or just not manage or not distributed throughout the network. So we're gonna hit manage. Now we're gonna hit classic printers. We're gonna add classic printers. What that'll do is it'll scan a network of all printers that are available. I'm gonna give it a couple seconds. And this does take a few minutes. I don't know if this is part of the beta version as you can see on why it does. So we're gonna hit refresh a couple times until it starts to populate with printers. So we should have one more that'll come up here. There we go. So we got our two printers that are on our network. So we're gonna use this printer, the M3035, and we're gonna share it. We got the buttons up top. So we'll hit share. And then here's where you're gonna enter in the, the user's email account. And that person who is using the printer, you want to share the printer with, has to have a Gmail account and also needs to have the Chrome account too as well. So we're gonna use... And this will work for wired printers as well, right? Correct. So... Anything that's on the network, anything that has a TCP IP connection to the network here will work. So it's almost like the HPE print, correct. in a way. In a way, correct. But you don't have to do the, the uh, email Print it from your email address. Right, exactly. So we're gonna share this out. What that'll do is it'll send an email, account, an email message to this account user saying, hey, do you want to share this, or er, accept this printer? So we're going to close it. And so now they should it. have access once they accept it? Correct. Once they hit accept, they'll, they'll have that printer within their Google Cloud Print ability. Actually, yeah. So, and there are a couple different features we can do. In fact, I'm going to go and do a print job, and you'll see it. So he's just going to run to his other PC. We're going to send a job uh, to this M3035 network printer that we have set up. And uh, seeing as all, this is the first time, it may take a little bit to populate on the back end. So what we're going to end up doing is showing um, on the back side of this, you can show the print jobs. And like um, you don't want to necessarily use this as a print management piece, but you kind of can. And we'll show you how that kind of uh, kind of shakes out because you'll be able to show print jobs and you'll be able to see when they printed and who the user was. Um, and again, you can just share all your printers out to any particular users. And I'm sure as this comes out of beta into a more uh, stable platform, you're gonna be able, it's pro they're probably gonna add much more, a lot more management to it uh, to make it a little bit easier. But this is a really good solution for the time being for people that you know may need to you know, there's a printer that uh, someone needs to use in a remote part of the building or whatever the case may be. Um, it works pretty well. And a lot of the school districts and a lot of people are switching over to this, so um, it's been working pretty slick so far. I can only imagine that they're going to improve upon it. So 
John sent the print, so I'll let him take back over here. All right. Should be able to now let me refresh it real quick. And show print jobs tab. And that'll what that'll do is there we go. It shows that That's me, that's, that's the user that's, or the administrator. Yep. So details. Basically it'll say when it was printed. Who printed it from what account and uh, just kind of gives you an idea and each time somebody prints it'll populate that screen and also to a nice feature with this is you don't have to load drivers on that particular printer or that PC or that user so yep, no drivers to yeah, load and it works perfect with the Chrome and actually I've heard a couple users using it with iPads but I still haven't played with that feature yet so that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Well, like I was saying too, they'll probably add features as it comes out of beta, probably to make it a little bit easier yeah. and manage the users um, that are in there. I haven't heard uh, when they're coming out yet. Yeah. New version. So, I mean, literally, you can add any printer on your network or not add it and delete it. And again, uh, if you want to simply get rid of the printer or if you want to stop users from using it, um, basically I'll highlight that printer hit delete what that'll do is it'll just get that it'll disable it from the Google Cloud printer period so if you did share that printer with somebody um, by deleting it it pretty much wipes it out from them as well but then to add that back you yeah. just go through the same steps same we steps. just did yep. same steps you'd be able to go into settings Advanced settings and then manage. And then here you can add it to as well. It should. You'll probably just have to do a rediscovery. Yeah, on it. I think it's because we logged in again here twice. So I think once you log out, log back in, it will come back. So. If you go through those steps. Exactly. Right. right. So in a way, you might want to just add them all to your account if you're the administrator of it, and then you can disseminate who uses what from there. Um, instead of kind of, I, I would just add them all rather than take on right. certain ones and leaving others off. That way, you have full management of who can use and who not can, or who, you know, who can and who cannot use. Yeah. So it's pretty easy, actually. Pretty it, simple. It, it is pretty straightforward. And again, it's a way to make your, I mean, if you're printing in this environment, which a lot of people are now, most people have a Gmail account or a Google account in some shape or form. Um, and if you're running it in your enterprise, it's a real easy way to gain access to machines that are already wired. Um, and there are a couple different ways that we can do this through hardware pieces too, but this is, uh, this is a new way. A lot of people don't know about it yet. A lot of people aren't... Uh, privy to this knowledge or understanding of how it works so we thought we'd share it with you um, and we'll probably do an updated version once they once it comes out of beta and once uh, we get to play with it a little bit more and kind of perfect it one more features get added is there any way you can print from mobile devices with this yet is that on your mobile phone you can yeah, do that there's too actually in a google cloud print app you can okay use. so you can download that app too and, and it works the same way with the sharing email that person uh, their gmail account and it'll act. It'll work the same way. And you can print right from your smartphone. Right from your smartphone. Right. Yeah. So pretty cool. Um, we'll make sure we update this when uh, when they come out of beta. We're not sure when that is, but uh, I'm assuming it should be pretty soon here. But uh, that's your Google Cloud printing. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure you call the office at 888-505-5004, um, and I'll get you in touch with John, and he can maybe kind of help you through the nuances if you're having issues. But uh, thanks for taking the